We're gonna visit a murder location that is right up ahead from where I'm at right now. Uh, one of the more disturbing stories you're gonna hear on this channel. Let's get right into it. We're gonna go back to August of 2021. Somebody contacts law enforcement in the area and they say that their friend, 33 year old Cassidy Rainwater uh, is missing. So they ask him, well, what was the last time you seen her? And they said, well, it, last month, back in July something. Uh, they said that they were staying with a man. I think his name was James Rainwater. And they said, okay. So they do a little bit of digging and come to find out this man's name is not James Rainwater, but it was James Phelps. Maybe Cassidy told her friend that... Uh, he was a relative to make sure that, uh, you know, they didn't ask too many questions about where she was staying at. Maybe she wanted to get away from people. Who knows? So they come to this property where I'm going to show you right now at 386 Moon Valley Road. And they knock on the door and a man opens it and it's James Phelps. And the sheriff's office deputies they said hey we're looking for a cassidy rainwater uh she looks like this uh, they start showing pictures of her she's 33 years of age uh somebody contacted us and said that she might be staying here on your property uh he says yeah she was staying here uh probably like last month back in august uh and uh the last time i seen her uh she was talking about possibly going to Colorado and somebody had pulled up in a vehicle and she was talking to them at the end of my driveway and she hopped in the car and that was the last time I seen her. So they probably asked him, hey, can we look around you know, the property or whatever? And he says, sure. And so he pointed to like a loft section of his house and he says, this is where she was staying. Deputies noticed that there's not a bit of any kind of item that would be related to a woman staying there. There's no like doilies or, you know, uh, makeup or just women thinks clothes. They don't see none of that. Okay. So they leave. They don't see anything maybe odd, but they, you know, take their notes or whatever. So we're going to jump ahead to September 16th, 2021. So the FBI field office in Kansas City receives what they call a cyber tip, basically an email. And in this email is some very, very, very disturbing pictures. Uh, it is pictures of a young woman that is in some kind of a cage, partially nude. And they also show this woman bound to what they call a gantry crane uh, kind of looks like this it's what uh, hunters use to process deer or uh, whatever they hunt wild game so immediately the very very next day they come here with a search warrant this is the property where james phelps and Cassidy Rainwater was staying at. I want to make sure that nobody's looking because this is not a good area to be snooping around in. Okay, let's act like we own the place. So they come to this property with a search warrant and immediately they see this gantry crane and it has blood on it. Okay. Now they start searching the entire property and in one of the freezers was what appeared to be human flesh and it had a label on it and it said july 24th so immediately james phelps uh is arrested and charged with i believe it was abuse of a corpse or something along those lines another man who the email also stated was involved in this murder timothy norton was also quickly apprehended now I got snagged on the barbed wire, so let's get around here. Okay. So this would have been the home where the murder occurred. And as you can see, it's no more. Uh, somebody set it on fire 
uh, on October, the first week of October, right after they searched the property. Uh, I hear a car, let me. All right, just making sure they're not coming up on me. Um, so this place was set on fire. Somebody in the area did for some unknown reason. And then when deputies arrived to, and then firefighters arrived to put out the fire, they found some incendiary devices in the area. It was like some kind of balloons with uh, mortar tubes. Uh, it was a trip wire. So they called the bomb squad and they came and took uh, care of everything. Oh crap, I just seen this. Um, this would, wow. How weird is this? Look at that. Uh, this would be a gantry crane. So this was what they strung uh, Cassidy Rainwater up on. Jeez Louise. I don't see any blood on it, but I, well, it looks like rust. I don't know what it is. I don't want to get too close, but uh, wow. Yeah, that would have been where they hoisted her up on it and dismembered her. All right, here another car, hang on. All right. I don't know if this is like one of these people's properties and they're gonna pull out some really crazy gun on me, but um, so they had interviewed Timothy Norton and basically, I'm not even really going to repeat what he said because he's full of crap. This guy, all he said that he did participate in the murder and that uh, he had held down Cassidy's legs while James strangled her. But he didn't say what they did to her during the time that she was held captive uh, in a, what they call a cage. Now, um, I see it, what looks like a cage right there i don't know what that is i don't know if that's the same cage again guys i'm not really trying to say that it is but this looks like oh i see some cat dishes yeah i seen a cat here earlier so this could be like a kind of like a cat thing i don't know but this is a cage you have some camper toilet there and some burnt out vehicle so i did see a cat in the area so i don't know if the cage is for cats or what but um, this could have been the cage that they kept her in. Who knows? I mean, it is big enough for somebody to be put in. Got to make sure I don't uh, run across any snakes or anything like that while I'm on this property. But then again, snakes are the least of my concern. So also during the search, after finding the human flesh, uh, they also found skeletonized remains, uh, which they later identified as Cassidy Rainwaters. And uh, James Phelps and Timothy Norton were booked uh, for first degree murder. Now, of course, this murder occurred almost two years ago. So just recently, James Phelps pleaded guilty to avoid the death penalty because they were trying to give him that. And so I guess he took a deal. And uh, Timothy Norton, he is uh, still in jail. I guess he's fighting his case. And uh, basically, Tim Timothy Norton, from what the FBI figures, this guy and James Phelps would just go hunting like go, they would go to stores, they would go to Walmarts and they would just, I guess, look for victims or whatever. And for some unknown reason, they ran into Cassidy Rainwater and maybe she was down on her luck and she needed a place to stay. And uh, who knows what, uh, what kind of horrors uh, they did to that poor girl. Uh, one of the most sickest uh, stories and there's no details to the story because there's no proof that they did anything to her but obviously kill her
this was Cassidy's mother. And she also disappeared under unusual circumstances. And the date that she was reported missing, her remains were found a year later in some kind of a uh, field here in the area of Lebanon. Now, investigators, they don't believe that Cassidy and Tracy's deaths are related. But I don't know. This is uh, very unusual, to say the least, that both mother and daughter uh, and their unusual deaths, uh, possibly murders in this case. There's no proof of a murder. Nobody knows anything. Uh, as far as I know, her case remains open. And they're not calling it a murder because there's no proof that one was committed. Just a very, very uh, unusual case, to say the least. Rest in peace to both uh, Tracy and Cassidy. Okay, guys, I'm hitting the road. I'll catch up with you on the next video. Peace out.